So once you have your animation ready, in my case, I have a very simple animation here. What you may want to do is export it out as a video file or as an image sequence. So let's see how to do that by using the exporting options inside of Toon Boom Harmony. So to go to the exporting option, after you've animated, you go to file right over here. And from file, you go to export. And in export, you can see these options right over here. So you can export just the audio as you can see as well. But these four options are what we're interested in. So movie, animated GIF, SWF, and OpenGL frames. So let's start with the movie right here. So in the movie, it simply exports it as a plain video file. So over here, you can see that there's video format that you can choose. So you can choose MOV, MP4, or WMB. So MP4 is the way to go if you want a very small file size, but if you still want to keep on editing, then MOV is the way to go. Windows Media Video is not really the preferred format for editing uh, at this point of time. So. Uh, let's just go around with MP4 because that's, I just want a simple plain export and I'm going to click on browse to choose the folder where I want to export the video file to. So I'm just going to say uh, desktop right over here and I'm just going to rename this to simple animation right over there and save it up. So that is going to be the file name right over here. So now once I do that, you can see that display source is going to be display all. Once If you only do display then uh, camera and um, the peg animations, they won't render correctly. So you want to make sure that this is display all. You can also select the export range. For example, if you have uh, like a lot of frames, you just want to export a portion of it, then you can actually select the frame right here. And then you can select the screen re resolution right over here. So you can have three fourths of the resolution, like a very small resolution, or you can have custom resolution as well and increase the resolution as well. So let's just keep it same as scene resolution because that's the usual option we go for again. So once I'm happy with the settings that I want to export the video with, I'm just going to press OK and it'll export out the video for me. And now in my desktop, I'll be able to see uh, my video file. So I'm just going to go around onto my desktop right here. And here you can see the video file. If I were to click on it, you can see that there's my video animation right here. But there's no transparency information or anything saved onto it. That is because this is an MP4 video file. So let us get back to Toon Boom and I'm going to go to file right over here and I'm going to click export again. So let's see the other option. Another option you have is animated GIF right over here. So you can select animated GIF. Uh, this cannot store any audio file. So this is usually what you use to, uh, um, to share out GIF over the internet. Uh, for some like memes or so forth. So you want to make small animations, you can make GIF right here. So I'm just going to say test. I'm going to click on save right here from display all. So that's something we should keep in mind. I can have all the frames right here and one fourth of the screen resolution. Usually GIF is suggested to be in a very uh, small set of resolution. And over here you can see that you can, you can enable loop as well, which usually a lot of GIF has. So I'm just going to keep that right there loop and I'm going to press OK and it'll export it out in ZIF format. The other options that I have is let's go to export this ZIF. Of course there's F to SWF as well. SWF is a flash format so let's select display all. It's a flash format which was used in olden days to on the internet so right now it's in uh, in recent days it's usually not uh, the uh, format to go with. But especially if you want to uh, open uh, the animation files into software like uh, Adobe Animate, then you might want to export it as SWF so that it's easier for you to open it out right there. So you can select SWF, it's really small file size, and uh, you can set the JPZ quality, the frame rate and everything else right over here, just like this. You can also, uh, exclude exporting of blur shadows glows and other settings right over here and you can simply press ok right over there and swf will be exported just like that you can go over here go to export and there's something known as open gl frames so let's see open gl frames now so what this is this is simply an option of exporting uh uh, image sequence out of Toon Boom Harmony. So you might need this if you want to uh, work around in with After Effects, you want to work around with particular frames, then you might want to export it as particular uh, individual frames. So you can go over here 
and you can choose many of the formats. TZA is the default format and works well with many of the video editors out there. So I'm just going to go around here uh, and save it on my desktop itself. On my desktop, I'm going to create a new folder and inside new folder, I'm just going to save it as preview all frames press OK and all of the frames will be rendered out just like that as you can see. So once that is done, you can also go over here on to export and you can just export out the audio and you can also export out just the layout image from the selection as well. So you can actually go over here just like that. You can go to file, you can go to export, you can go to layout image from selection just like that and then just export out that selection as well. So let me just click on browse. Let me just go to desktop and then let me go to folder right over here and I'm going to select that folder. I'm going to press export and that frame will be exported. So now let's see all of the export in the desktop and let's see how they actually worked out. So I exported all of them. You can see the SWF file right over here. You can see new folder right over here where there's the image sequence. So you can actually go over here. Let me just open uh, that out with Photoshop. And these are individual target files, uh, which are um, image sequences. So just like that, let me just open that out and you, you'll be able to see that these are individual frames right over there. So that's something uh, related to image sequence. And then uh, there's the new folder too as well, where we just exported one frame. So the frame that we chose and exported, uh, it exported as a Photoshop file right over there. So th these are different exports that Toon Boom did. So depending on the type of uh, export you need you can see right here that transparency everything has been maintained so depending on the type of export you need depending on the type of editing you need uh, uh, editing you need there are different exporting options as you can see right there so that's how you export in different formats from Toon Boom. How many? So hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe